We, you just mentioned then about this idea of traffic and, and moving mm. traffic towards what you're doing. And that sort of is a nice segue into our, our next question. Our next question is sort of around helping people that may have already started their venture. Um, yeah. And the question is, is what do you do if you have built a website to sell your products or services, but you're just not getting any traffic? What's the quickest and easiest way to increase traffic to your website? Cool. I really love this question. Um, yeah, this is like a lot of people think when I'm going to create a website or an online store or whatever, build it and they will come. And um, that, that's just not true. It's really build it, market the shit out of it and they will come. Um, so we need to be driving traffic to our websites or our online stores or whatever we've created in the online space. And there really is two ways to generate traffic to your website. And it's, it's the hare and the tortoise. So you remember back to that old the hare and the tortoise race and, and who wins. And it was actually the, the slow and steady tortoise got in there in the end because the hare raced off. But when you're driving traffic to both sites, you really need both. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the tortoise. The tortoise is your slow and steady traffic, but it's effective too. And it brings in increasingly amounts of free traffic over time by good SEO. So search engine optimization. So this is your long-term content strategy for your venture. So both on your website, such as blog posts that you're optimizing for keywords and things like that. So they, you know, your Googles and your Bings and, and Yahoo's and everything pick them up. And perhaps also on another platform that links and sends traffic to your website. So this could be your YouTube channel or a, a podcast in iTunes or um, anything like that. And also your social media postings, that's driving traffic to your website too. So it might be your Insta stories or your you know, Facebook posts and Facebook lives and things like that. So this is, this is the, the slow and steady stuff that you're, the content that you're creating and putting out there um, either on your website and optimized on your website so it's coming up in search engines or on other platforms like social media youtube and podcasts and directing it to your website this stuff takes time it's not um, an overnight success thing you've got to be tinkering away at it for, for weeks months or years but it comes to the point that that content is bringing in traffic every day and that's where i was at with sustainer baby i basically had to hardly ever do any paid traffic in Sustainy Baby because my, my library of blog posts was so much that some, or even the online store, everything was optimised and people would just say, you know, like, oh, you know, organic cotton baby sleep bag and then, you know, onto Google and it would come up or you'd have a review of them on the blog that would also then link people through to the store. So this stuff takes time. It's free, in fact, in the way that you don't have to shell out money for it, but it's your time to create. That's your do that, but you. If you're not as as patient, and there is definitely, uh, um, I would also recommend that you employ the hair. You know this 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 hair rabbit sort of the fast fast way to get traffic to your site, and this is through paid traffic. Now this is sends immediate traffic to your website. That this is basically. Um, paid ad, pay, pay per click advertising, so in Facebook or Google ads or Instagram ads, or even affiliate partnerships. So you might be partnering with someone who's got a large influence and a, and, you know, a large email list or anything like that, and you're paying, you know, for them to um, basically commission. You know, if they're promoting your online course or your coaching, you're giving. So they'll send traffic, but you any sales that come through, you might be sending giving them up to fifty percent of the commission for any, for an example. So it does cost you money for that paid traffic. Um, basically the other thing with paid traffic is that you turn it on and you turn it off. So if you're not paying, it's turned off, which means that your traffic can just drop like that. So you can kind of see that you do need the tortoise and the hare, you're slow and steady. I use the hare stuff really in driving traffic whenever I'm doing any launches, like you know the doors are open for my e-courses or, or coaching or anything like that. That's when I um, really up my paid traffic. Um, but yeah, I'm, con I'm basically, you know, I've been blogging yeah, on website nonstop for, you know, weekly um, for nine, nine years in, in my different businesses as well. But that's my tortoise stuff that brings in the ongoing traffic every day. So I recommend using both strategies and I hope that's um, answered that question. 
It's a great analogy, the the hare and the tortoise to remember that. And I guess, yeah, having that blend, isn't it? You know, of, of yeah. both and, and tinkering away until you get it right for, for your audience, I guess, is, is, the, is key. Yeah, and that's a really good point, Julie. It's finding out what gels with your audience and the type of the type of content or the type of posts in social media that get the most engagement and and optimizing them. So if you're seeing a post that gets great great engagement, I mean on Facebook, for example, you can just turn it into an ad for engagement and make sure you can pop a, a link like you at the bottom of that, edit that post and put a link to your website. And you can find just little tweaks like that can really make a difference for your traffic. Fantastic. Great. Thank you for such a great, <laughs> so many tips there. I'm going to have everyone's furiously writing them down, I'm sure. Um, Asha just said before that she'd be really interested in a crowdfunding session. Thanks for that, Asha. We'll um, pop it on our list 